back. Former President Trump has been placed under a limited gag order in a federal election case related to the January 6th Capitol riot. Fox News correspondent Mark Meredith is in Washington with the latest on why the federal judge issued the order. A judge uh, gave a gag order today. Did you hear that? Hours after a federal judge issued a partial gag order on former President Trump, the 45th president was publicly railing against the ruling to crowds of his supporters in Iowa. The judge doesn't like me too much. You know what a gag order is? You can't speak badly about your opponent. But this is weaponry all being done because Joe Biden is losing the election and losing very, very badly to all of us in the polls. He's losing badly. The order bars Mr. Trump from attacking witnesses, prosecutors and court staff involved in special counsel Jack Smith's federal prosecution into alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Judge Tanya Chutkin determining Mr. Trump's free speech rights do not permit him to, quote, launch a pre-trial smear campaign. The New York Times reporting on the ruling wrote, Judge Chutkin appeared to be trying to thread the needle on balancing Mr. Trump's rights to political speech as a candidate for the country's highest office and her own duties to protect the integrity of the proceedings in front of her. Judge Chutkin was determined not to let Donald Trump continue to endanger witnesses, uh, the, the court staff, or the prosecutors, or their attorneys and their staff. So she imposed the somewhat limited gag order that she did. The judge did not say how she plans to enforce her gag order, but she says she would assess any consequences for the former president if and when he violates it. In Washington, Mark Meredith, Fox 54 News.